What's up guys and welcome back to the Concrete Edge right here on Deco Creek TV. My name is Jeff and on today's show we're going to take a look at how much concrete countertops actually weigh and show you an option that can reduce that weight by up to two thirds so stay tuned and you're going to learn all about it. So if you're thinking about getting a concrete countertop installed at your home or business, or if you're a contractor that's wanting to start offering concrete countertops as part of your business, I mean, we just feel like it's important to do a little bit of research first, uh, just so you know what you're gonna be getting into. I mean, there are so many great things about concrete countertops, but like anything else in life, there are a few downsides. And one of these uh, would be the weight. I mean, and this can be a pretty big deal in certain situations. I mean, the good thing is though, that that downside can be completely overcome if you go about it the right way. So the two most common mixes you're gonna find out there for countertops are a traditional wet cast mix or a GFRC mix. Now the wet cast uh, is pretty much just like the stuff you guys pour every day. I mean, it might have a few tweaks for lack of thickness, but it's just pretty much concrete. Now, GFRC, on the other hand, I mean, this is a whole different way of casting concrete countertops. And we do have a full how-to video uh, for GFRC on our channel where we go through the entire thing from start to finish. So just make sure to check that out if you guys are wanting to learn more about the process. So normal concrete weighs about 4,000 pounds per cubic yard. Uh, so at two inches thick, that's gonna end up being about 25 pounds per square foot. Now, of course, you could probably get this number down a little bit depending on your mix and how you poured it, but man, it's gonna be hard to make any significant difference uh, with that traditional wet cast concrete. Now, how much does this matter? I mean, well, that's gonna just depend on the job. I mean, just sticking to concrete countertops for a second. I mean, everything just needs the floor, the cabinets, they all just need to be really nice and solid so they can handle all the extra weight. Now, for the homeowners out there, I mean, this is pretty much the end of the line for weight concerns for you. For the contractors, however, I mean, this is really gonna depend on whether you're pouring in place right on top of the cabinets or if you're prefabbing these tops um, at your shop and then installing the final product, uh, which is really the best way to go from a business standpoint. Now, I still remember uh, carrying an 800 plus pound island top down into somebody's basement I mean, we had four guys there uh, getting this thing up a couple steps into the house, around a few corners, and ultimately down the stairs into the basement. And I mean, we even had an extra guy there just to spot for us and keep everything balanced. And I mean, we did get the thing down there and nothing bad happened, but I just remember that after we're done, we're all just kind of looking at each other, all just kind of saying the same thing. I mean, that is the last time we try to do that. We gotta start doing this a different way. And we did still pour a few wet cast jobs after that, but we pretty much immediately started to learn about GFRC. Now, I'm not trying to say that wet cast mixes are obsolete or anything like that. I mean, there are times when it still makes the most sense. And if you're a DIYer, I mean, pouring in place is probably gonna be your best option and you're definitely gonna need a wet cast mix for that. But for contractors, I mean, most of the projects come up. I mean, GFRC is just where it's at. You can get GFRC down to around eight pounds a square foot uh, in the certain situations, but even for the average kitchen countertop, you're still gonna be under 10 pounds. And that is literally a 15 pound a square foot difference. And this opens up a whole new array of uses for concrete. I mean, now you can cast things that you could hang on a wall. I mean, you can make shower panels, fireplace surrounds and mantles, or I mean, just a ton of other really cool stuff. Now, one of the misconceptions of GFRC is that it's just a really light uh, mix. And I mean, it is a little bit lighter by volume than standard concrete, but where the actual weight savings comes from is the fact that you can cast it really thin. I mean, it really only needs to be a three quarter inch for the main part of your piece. Uh, and then you can just build the edges up and make it look as tall as you want. Now, you know, all that weight savings is what makes all those other things possible. But aside from that, there are also a lot of other benefits of GFRC. And one of those would be design options. I mean, GFRC just gives you the ultimate freedom when it comes to designing concrete countertops or a wide variety of other things. I mean, the fact that you can pack it vertically in a one-sided mold means you can pretty much make anything you want. And things like integral sinks, drain boards, waterfall edges, I mean, those can all be incorporated into kitchen counters. And the other thing that that reduced weight does for 
for you is that it lets you cast bigger pieces, which means fewer seams. And not to mention all the other things that you can create, like self-standing tables, uh, you can make uh, vertical facades that literally look like real stone. I mean, so many things, and none of it would be possible with a traditional wet cast mix. Now, GFRC is also denser than traditional concrete, and it tends to crack less. And I mean, for the contractors, I mean, I'm not going to say that this is the easy way to cast concrete countertops, but it certainly is a lot easier to mix than wet cast, and you're just going to need way less poundage of material. You'll also be casting these things upside down, so you really don't don't even need much experience with a concrete job. Well guys, that's pretty much it for this week's show. I mean, hopefully this helps you guys understand uh, why a traditional wet cast mix or GFRC mix might be the best choice uh, for your next concrete countertop project. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video as well as all the other videos on our channel. I mean, man, we just can't tell you how much we uh, appreciate all the support that you guys show every week. Always tuning in, uh, hitting that little like, subscribe, share buttons. Please leave us a comment if we missed anything or if you have any questions about concrete countertops. Now, if you are already subscribed, I mean, just don't forget about that little bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And, and honestly, it really does help our channel out. So from all of us here at DecoCrete TV, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.